Hey guys. So because I just did the skincare video, I thought I would show you guys how to do my go-to makeup look. So I always start by my hair tie, putting my hair up just so that I can have like a full view of my face. And then I go into foundation, which I don't actually use. I use concealers because I like a really light base. Um, I love these two that I've been using lately. They're from Rodile. And I have them in two colors because my skin color is always changing in the sun, depending on the winter, summer. Right now I'm in LA, so I have a little bit of um, color. So I'm gonna take the darker one and I'm just gonna put it kind of on the outside of my face. And on the chin area, I always do the darker one too. And then I go in with a lighter color and I do it on the inside. And just anywhere where I have scarring or pimples, then I take my beloved Beauty Blender and I just start blending. And I've already prepped my face with skincare, which I just made the video last week. So if you want to know my skincare routine, you can go and check that out. I just love the texture of this concealer. It's so creamy and it goes on the face really smoothly. And I always try to leave these areas without any product just because I feel like it's so pretty to have that natural skin color and texture and I never do my nose because I like the natural freckles and the rosiness that is naturally there and then I go in in the areas where I need a little extra coverage like here I have some acne scarring here I have a pimple so I take this, it's from Lisa Waiter, and it's a very covering pot, and I just do um, the lightest one, and just put it right there, right here, and then I will take my beauty blender and I'll just blend it in. This is where I always break out. So. It's kind of a two-step process to covering like old scars and stuff. But once I'm done, you can't see it. I always wet the beauty blender a bit just because it it makes the skin more, makes the product just go into the skin better. Or at least that's what I feel like it does. Then once I'm done with skin, sometimes I do a little extra around my nose, but I'll like to do that at the end because Sometimes there will be drippings from the eye product. So once that's done, I am gonna just hydrate my lips a little bit because it's nice to get them hydrated before you put the lipstick on. So I use this um, wet stick, wet oil, lip oil from Kosas, which I love. It's nice to wet your make your lips a bit hydrated before you put the lipstick on so that's what I like to do and then I'm gonna move into eyebrows because I feel like the eyebrows really frames the face and it helps to decide what kind of eye to do I mean, this is really my go-to look that I do if I really wanna just have a day and not really anything special just like a, a day makeup look I like this pencil. This pencil is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's called Brow Wiz. It's a good one because it's such a small little tip and it comes in all different colors. I like a really taupey color for my eyebrows. Um, I just find that that looks best for me. And I like to, this eyebrow actually sits a bit lower than this one, always has. Um, so I like to make this one a little thicker and a little higher. So 
so I just fill it in. And then I will take my gel, which is Bushy Brow from Lime Crime. <laughs> and I'll just use that to brush the color in and brush the brow up. And once that's done, you can kind of see where I don't like my brows too perfect. Let's see, maybe that's good enough. Shape is more important than the than that it's like totally filled in. I like them to be I like them to be twins. Okay, so I'm gonna do my little gel on this one too. Moving on to skin again, I'm gonna do a little bit of this contour wand from um, Charlotte Tilbury and it's quite concentrated and it has this crazy tip so I just do it like right under my cheekbones and I like to go a little in as well and then I do it on my jawbone I always do a little here it's just something I've learned from makeup artists over the years Kind of shortens your nose a little bit if you have a long nose and then a little bit under the lips and a little bit above to create kind of a shadow see the difference I mean it's not blended yet but adds a little pouty and I do a little bit here too to blend everything in um, and then I take a brush that's flat because that's how I like to blend it in and then I really work it. So by the end, it's a really natural uh, look. And in real life, you really, you really can't tell. You just look sun-kissed. So that's what it looks like when it's fully blended. And okay, so next I'm gonna go into, I always like to do the contour and then the blush because this blush is so pretty. It's called Sonoya and it's from Shiseido. It's my absolute favorite blush. If you follow me, you've probably seen me wear this before. Um, super pink and it just is like the most gorgeous texture. This whipped kind of powder, creamy blush. And I like to put it pretty much all over where the sun hits. So, kind of like this. And a lot of my nose, actually. Sometimes I do it with my fingers. Okay, so after the blush, I will, I'm gonna finish my eyes. So my eyes, I do um, like a very creamy pencil, like this brown one um, for a daytime look. And I just gently go into the lash line. I don't like too much eye makeup on myself because it makes me look a little bit like I'm going out. So, that's how I do it and then I start blending and I'm gonna show you this trick. Favorite little trick for a lazy girl eye is just to take um, like a bit of a paper towel and put it kind of in the direction that your eye goes. So like that and then I close my eye and I just blend the whole thing out. So once that's done you have this kind of nice little line almost like an eyeliner but more smoky so that one's a little darker I'll just add a bit more in here so I mean how easy is that then I'll just pop some mascara and then we all we got is the lips I normally curl my lashes but I actually forgot my curler um, in New York. This mascara is from uh, Benefit Cosmetics and it's called Roller Lash. It's 
this kind of pink and black. Okay, something like that. I don't really go on the bottom, only in the middle, because I feel like it really opens up. So lastly, I'm gonna do my lips, which I always do the same way. I use one of my like three favorite lip pencils, which is either KK KKW Beauty, this weird one from Prestige that I've had for all my years. Um, it's really hard to find, but it's very good. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's my lip color exactly. Uh, just a little bit darker and just a, such a pretty color and I cannot find it from any other brand and this brand is so hard to find it's like a drugstore brand but I can never find this pencil I don't know if it has like a cold falling because I can every time I find the brand this particular pencil is always sold out but I think this is the question I'm asked the most, like what do I wear on my lips, what's my lip pencil? And it's this one. And I hate that it's so hard to find. It's dried a little, so I'm doing like a few extra layers. And honestly, sometimes I do like too little and not in the middle. And then I put this on top of it. I mean, you can really make such a big difference without using, um, just by using makeup to shape your face. So that's pretty much it. Um, oh, I actually forgot to do. So for the glow on the cheeks, I'll use either one of these. This is from Becca Cosmetics, and this one is from Rodile. And this one's more of a cream, and this one's more of a shimmery, like, creamy powder. And I think this one looks a bit more fake, if you want that, like, strobe effect of her picture. This one looks a bit more like it's actually your skin, which I love. So, take a little bit. And then I kind of just rub it together. And if it's too much, like I feel like this now, I sometimes put a little bit on my collarbones. And then I just kind of go like that. I don't know if you can tell, it's very subtle. And there you have it. That's my makeup look. I hope you liked it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And uh, have a great day.